Hi, my name is Ramon Hurtado. I'm a painter and teacher. Welcome to my studio. It takes time to be great. Great. Takes time to be great. Great. Nigga, let me paint. You guys gonna be painting a little bit? Nigga, let me paint. Takes time to be great. Nigga, go and let me paint. Fuck a dash through the race. race. TSS like a rave. rave. And a dash for the dough. dough. And a dash on your hoe. Oh. Sacrifice for the cheese. cheese. Now my niggas gotta get it. Politic and only bread for the peeves. peeves. Now we Wait. hungry, let's see. Who? Who's it there? have it all on me. But there's more. Oh. Oh. <laughs> hey, more. I see you there. Just, <laughs> just, just hanging out. <laughs> One, two, three. Oh, that's shit. <laughs> So like I was just reading about that actually, like the clapping thing. Yeah. Like I was just watching a couple YouTube videos about like how to make YouTube videos. And I was like, it's like I don't know. I have my camera. Yeah, I don't even know how yeah, to yeah. <laughs> no, I like I use it for like photographing paintings and stuff like that, but not, 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 not much other. Like and just like taking like reference photographs. Right. Like, nothing like. Yeah. You know? It's good to look back and just be like, okay, like I took the first step. Mm -hmm. That's what I tell him about like taking that first step with music. Just post something, like yeah. post something or have. Something out there so people can look and be like, oh, so he actually does this. Like he put right. his time towards this. Yeah. And I guess that goes back to the question because, like, for me, making my first video, I was like nervous as hell because right. I'm thinking like, okay, this isn't me. And my first introduction to the internet, mm -hmm. how am I gonna like? Who am I gonna be? You know, it's yeah. it's almost like when you go to school or like a college the first day, and yeah. you're like, all right. I'm about to go to this new school, all yeah. these new people I've never seen, yeah. all these new faces, they don't know who I am, who mm -hmm. am I? <laughs> like, right. you know? Cause, yeah, because you're crafting like a persona, right? Exactly, yeah. exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And so like, it just came down to me really just thinking about like, all right, well, I want to be as much as myself as possible because yeah. this is going to be me every, like, this is going right. to be me. I, I used to post five, six videos a week, so I'm basically giving a lot of myself. So yeah. I was like, all right, well, it has to be the most comfortable me. And one thing I didn't want to do was like curse, just because I knew mm -hmm. the youth, like a lot of youth, mm -hmm. it's like a younger crowd and things like that. Yeah. So I didn't want to be one of those people that curse, that curse. But mm -hmm. I just came to the conclusion like, all right, I'm just gonna be myself, have fun, yeah. and I'm gonna try to just be as normal as possible. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's and the easiest thing too, right? That's a, yeah, yeah, and exactly. Yeah. And I mean, yeah. I mean, to this day, like I look back at my videos sometimes, and like. I noticed the improvements, but I also noticed that, all right, well, I've stayed pretty much the same as far as character. Like, yeah. I'm not like all of a sudden like super hype or all of a sudden like super cool or like super like quiet or anything. Like, I've been the same person. Right. Yeah. And that goes a long way, I feel like. It's crazy because as we're talking about all this, like, there's so many similarities. Like, yeah. you know, like, you have to think about, oh, are people really gonna like this? And like, then you talk, or you bring up the point of every artist has like 15 great pieces of art yeah and this thing about that like i have over 600 videos yeah and i'm just thinking about it like you know thinking about my catalog and things like that and like i will i will say just be honest with myself like i think i have one video that has so far stood out the most yeah and it has done i guess the most for me yeah which ironically is a video that i saw no money from at all <laughs> <laughs> not, not directly yeah not directly because yeah. like it ended up being uh, copyrighted for the first five seconds, something stupid. It was like my biggest video. But for me, it was like I learned a lot making that video because I got to learn one, what my audience likes. Yeah. Two, I got to learn, okay, well, I can put together a dope ass video. Yeah. Because all my other videos, it got like basically my my base fans, you know? So yeah. a few, I think that's all. But anyways, like a few thousand people watch it. But this one video had like a quarter million views. Wow. So, oh, shit. yeah, and it was like, all right, so I know what I need to do to make this kind of video. It's just not one of those videos I could make all the time. Right. Yeah. And that's I, the frustrating part. Yeah. You know? yeah. I had decided that I wanted to be a painter about like a week into school, mm -hmm. like into the four years, and I was just like, yeah, you know, I'm just gonna like stick around. Yeah. Just you know, because like, I, I get to live in Los Angeles. Exactly. Mm -hmm. But, um, but I knew that my heart wasn't in the whole like animation thing, right. and like I just did as little as possible to get through. Yes. Yeah. Somehow I graduated yes. with honors, which was like a huge surprise to me. Like and I was well, like, wow, <laughs> how, how, how somebody that doesn't care about school too much. It sounds like I mean, you did pretty well. well I mean, it, but it was just like I just talked my way through it. That's what it was, and like, but the way in which it was hard is because I was taking classes outside of school mm -hmm. with like painters that I wanted to study with. Exactly. And so, and I was like, trying to find balance. Oh, I was working so much, like drawing things. I would cut class and I would go to paint. 
I would cut class to go to a drawing class. See, but the thing is this though, yeah. you're, you're cutting class though and doing things that yeah. you love and right. things that have now mm -hmm. obviously yeah. made you who you are. Oh, so yeah, yeah. it's never, sometimes when you think of kids skipping class, like, well, mm -hmm. then you're just skipping class, that's not really skipping class. Right, so just going, feeling your, your yeah, dream, exactly you know? Yeah. Dream. Well, the, well, the thing about it was that, like, I, and even, like, at, at 18, like, thankfully I saw this, like, I was just like, you know, like, school can make you good at being in school yeah. a lot of the time. And that's a lot of times what it's training you for. And so you have to have the, the, the perspective, like, to just kind of be like, yeah, but does this actually, like, the way I thought of it was like, yeah, I could like sit here and make my teachers happy, but like, are they gonna get me a job when I graduate? Yeah, yeah. Like, are they gonna make sure that I get the things that I need? No, they're gonna have a whole other class of people coming in. Right. And, you know, at the at the end of my college education, if I didn't get what I needed, tell what? Yeah. Congratulations to you to be you born the world. Yeah. Like, and I thought about that, and I was like, I don't care about making my teachers happy. Mm -hmm. Like, I don't. You know, it's like, and particularly in classes that I, classes that I didn't think were um, crucial to my development, like not just in school, but like over time. Overall, yeah. And I had to manage oh, yeah. that, I had to manage that constant sort of people like, oh, but you can do so much better. And it's like, of course I could. Yeah. I don't care about this. Like, <laughs> yeah. I'm trying to be better in this other thing. Right, you know? right, right. Like, Which you find what you love. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. Love. yeah. Oh, I like a door buzzer. And so it was, um, it was interesting in that regard because, like, I think that that taught me a lot. Just knowing that, like, just doing the bare minimum and making your teachers happy doesn't mean anything when you're outside of school. Outside school, I have forty thousand images in the hard drive right now. Like, and I spent over like the last like ten years or so of just like collecting images, just collecting images, right. collecting images. But it's like that's like uh, to Deuce's point. Like, that's what we were. Uh, that's what I was talking about before. Like. I don't paint as much as other people do. Mm -hmm. I try to get up a museum okay. in that city and try to find work that I really like that I want to go see. Usually it's in storage, so I've been like reaching out to like curators or right. usually if they have like some kind of storage area for a museum, then I'll go to that. Right? Right. Right. And what's interesting is that some of the work that I've seen that's like some of the best work that's ever been done in like certain like fields, like yeah. there's not that much in it, there's a cutoff point. There's like good enough, there's good enough, it's like okay, it's done. And I think that's something that's cool about that is like it keeps it, it stays off that kind of like perfectionism where you're just like because otherwise like what i would be making one drawing one painting my entire life and just making that perfect right yeah but it's like it's it's a kind of like working perfection where you're like yeah that's perfect enough you know that's good enough to kind of like and it's not good enough in the sense that like you just kind of like toss something together and it's like right, you know, whatever right, but right like it's like it's being reasonable and I've been thinking about that a lot too, actually. Uh, just the idea of like giving myself a fixed amount of time mm -hmm. and doing the best that I can in that mm -hmm. time, mm -hmm. but like capping that. it at that time. I so, like that. Yeah. yeah. So if it's a five minute decision, doing the best that I can in those five minutes, right. then letting it go. Right. Or if it's like a three second decision, like doing the best that I can in those three seconds and then letting it go. Right. And I think that makes it more efficient. It's also good for like your sanity, I think, because yeah. you're not like. Because I right, tend to be a perfectionist about a lot of these things, and so it's like <laughs> it's nice to have this kind of thing where you're just like. There's so much time committing to this, I'll get that, like, I'll put that effort in. Mm -hmm. And if it really warrants it, maybe a little bit more, but like, generally kind of sticking to that, where like, I say this much, I do the best that I can at that time, but I'm on to something else. Right. Over I mean, I feel like we could all relate. Like, you can relate with music, yeah. you can relate with art, obviously, and I can relate with just whether it's editing or thinking about a video idea. And I mean, what you just said, like, it just resonates with me a lot because yeah. I'm kind of at that point right now where mm -hmm. I'm starting to do a lot of other things outside, like I'm editing other videos for people. Yeah. So I'm thinking now, I'm starting to think like, okay, how can I cap my time so that way I give the best that I could towards the video, but at the same time, be able to, to either do another project or focus yeah. on my own video yeah. and things like that. And that's just, I mean, it's a balance you're always going to have to deal with, but yeah. it's so much easier to address it than to just be like, right. oh, I'll just, yeah. I'm just gonna do this and then whatever. Yeah, it comes out all day. You know, know? it'll work itself out. Yeah, yeah. Right. Like I've never been much of a planner, but I like, just like I've had to become a little bit more like that. I didn't really. I, high school, man. High school is whatever. But when, when I got to college, yeah. where I can definitely say there was a lot more work than I've ever had to do in my life. Yeah. And when I graduated, like. Oh my God! The, the, like the weight that had been lifted off my yeah. shoulders, mm -hmm. knowing that I had to study. Once I was done with school, I 
immediately started just thinking and just looking at things differently. Because, like, my time wasn't always like, I have to do this project or I have to yeah. sign up for this class. Yeah. It wasn't always like, what's next, what's next? It's almost like that was distracting me from thinking about, like, what, who am I? Yeah, what do I want to do? It really matters because at the end of the day, aren't you trying to find who you are? Exactly. Is that not what yeah. we live for? To right. find what makes us happy. Yeah. Right. We find success, like happiness and success in our lives. Right. Right. Not, I mean, I don't know. School is good. I mean, it's cool to have to go to school. Yeah, but, but I think it's a tool, though. It's like, because yeah. people make it seem like going to college is going to be like the thing in your life. And like, that's not necessarily true. Like, a lot of us, like, don't end up doing what we went to school for. Like, I went to school for animation. Like, my college experience, I said it was hard, but like, it was hard not in the way that college is usually hard for people. Like, college was hard for me because, like, I was skipping class a lot. Like, I was, I had a full scholarship to where I was going. Mm -hmm. And I was just, like, not going to class because a lot of the classes I thought, like, weren't offering me what I wanted. So, th this basically falls in the spectrum of, um, like, the broad categorization for it would be representational art, which is just, like, art that, you know, you make stuff that looks like stuff. Um, I have more of what I would call like a naturalist impulse. So like I'm when I'm painting, I'm really interested in making stuff, or you know whatever it is that I'm looking at, really look like uh, the original, but without it being. It's not a photographic sensibility, so it's not photorealism. Uh, I'm actually, if anything, if the work that I do is defined by anything, it's that I'm really interested in being like meeting the person or being at the place that uh, that I'm working at, basically, or that I'm like working from. So, for instance, like, if I paint uh, a portrait, like, I generally don't want to do it from a photo, not because I have an issue with that, but, like, the paintings are almost kind of happen. Like, the important thing is the experience that I'm having, like, getting to know the person is the important thing, or if I'm in a landscape, like, seeing, like, I don't know, like, feel it, like feeling the breeze, like, getting to, like, you know, breathe that stuff in, and being, like, in the landscape, like, if anything, the painting is actually a way of, like, interfacing with life like it's a way of experiencing things because it gets me to slow down enough to kind of really appreciate everything and really drink it in mm -hmm. and then like paintings happen as a result of that so these days i'm mostly active on instagram uh, my handle is uh, ramon.alex.curtado and that's where i'm like posting like a lot of images of like uh like where i'm teaching like the work that i'm making uh pictures of my cats obviously <laughs> and just like anything that's going on in my life is going to be on instagram i have a website but it is in dire need of updating so if you want to see more of this stuff uh, instagram is the place to go all right so uh we just had to sit down with ramon man just checking out some of his art we just met this weekend he's actually great friends with aduce's cousin who aduce is right behind the camera <laughs> uh, so um we honestly he was just such a dope artist and another thing that kind of just really made me feel connected my little brother loves to draw as a hobby and he draws similar types of art yeah, and he's so, really good too yeah and <laughs> apparently he's really good so uh, I know he would enjoy that, and I just wanted to just sit down with him. We talk about way more than just art, so I hope you guys do just watch the whole thing, enjoy it. Um, just goes about anything from life, college, yeah. starting a passion, all, yeah. all the above. So, yeah. um, and also make sure you guys check him out. I'm convincing, and I think he will start a YouTube channel. So when yeah, he does, <laughs> I'll make sure to come back and uh, edit the link. But really, just wanted to to do this just because being in LA. Um, Felt a whole different vibe and just the whole energy about it, and just seeing somebody who's chasing his passion and seeing the similarities between YouTube and being an artist. I thought we had to sit down and have a chat and just kind of just break down some ideas. So, man, thank you for having me, man. Hey, thank you for, Appreciate you for coming it, in. Appreciate sure. it. So, um, like you said, you guys check him out on Instagram, and uh, you guys kind of know me a little bit, right? <laughs> <laughs> so, thank you for tuning in. Uh, this is one of my two or three vlogs while in Cali. And um, this is definitely going to be one of my favorites just because I get to share something that I'm never really around a lot, which is uh, artists, uh, actual full-on artists. So uh, thank you for tuning in. I hope you guys enjoyed this one. And we'll catch you guys in the next video. Thank you. Is somebody in there? Yo, oh, what's whoa. up, man? <laughs> Where'd you come from? Hey, man, I just went back in time. <laughs> <laughs> Please don't kill my vibe, please don't kill my life, please don't kill my vibe, please don't kill my life, please don't kill my vibe, please don't kill my life, please don't kill my vibe, please don't kill my life.